Hi, this is Fred Nicholas, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the power of words. Words really do have power. They have a power to move people. They have a power to move people forward strongly, effectively, and with a momentum that can really make things happen. And one of the speeches that I, I like to talk about very often is the speech of Martin Luther King, his I Have a Dream speech. If you haven't heard that speech or if you haven't heard it for a while, it's good to search for it on Google and hear it again because it really is a speech that stirs the emotion and gets people moving and gets people thinking differently. And I guess that's a very important point as to how do you think. Now, very often times, uh, I've, I've heard it said that, you know, we're talking about different things in these videos or in the emails that I write. It's not just about fitness. Now, truly, it can be about fitness because that's what I do, martial arts and fitness. But you know what? Over the time that we've done this, we've learned an awful lot about how to move people, how to motivate them, how to help them achieve their goals. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you today about when we talk about the power of words is somebody that was a hero to me and still is a hero for myself and for a lot of people, and that's Vince Lombardi. Now, I live in Packer land. I've been a cheese head my whole life. I remember in 1967, that was when I was 10 years old, sitting on the couch, my dad, my brother, my mom were in the room, and I remember crying uncontrollably because it was the day when the Green Bay Packers were playing the Dallas Cowboys in the famous ice bowl. And at the time, it looked pretty bleak for the Packers. We thought they were going to lose, and I just did not like the idea of losing. Now, as things turned out, the Packers made that final touchdown with Bart Starr sneaking into the end zone on that cold, cold day at Lambeau Field, and everything then turned to joy. Wow, what a great excitement and energy that was when he snuck into the end zone. One of the things that I'd like to pass on to you about Vince Lombardi, and he had many great quotes, and those of us that live in Wisconsin uh, have sort of grown up with his talks the way he motivated those players and the great Green Bay Packer teams of the 1960s. But one thing that Lombardi said was once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. And isn't that really true? Whether it's physical fitness, whether it's our job, whether it's learning new things, the ability to press on is so important. And Lombardi really said something that was, that was lasting and will last for forever when he coined this phrase. So again, whether it be the Green Bay Packers, whether it be you or I, the ability to go on and not quit, because quitting truly does become a habit, is so important to us. So good luck, and we'll talk to you again next time.